Hey everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today we have a 5-in-1 USB-C hub made by X-Power. So this one basically has two sort of full-size USB uh, plugs. One 3.0, one 2.0, basically one high speed, one not high speed. Uh, it has an SD card reader and a micro SD card reader. And it can take in the power input, the Type-C PD power input, up to 52 watts. And I'll talk a little bit about what it can do and what it can't do. In a moment, other features, it's got an aluminum case. Uh, it's got high-speed transmission from the USB-C 3.0, and also it's made for MacBooks, tablets, and mobile. Uh, here's the dimensions. Here's some of the details that, I guess, this is the other stuff that they make as well from X-Power Hong Kong. So this one uh, goes for about 25 US here in Hong Kong. I don't know what it'll cost where you get it. Um, so, yeah, let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, power input so it says it supports 20 volts at 2.6 amps and it also says here that it does type C port support for 52 watts PD input so in other words basically 20 times 2.6 so what does that mean that means that your power supply uh, let's say you had an external power supply either the one that came with your Mac or one that you got X separately um, that can output up to 52 watts and then basically power your computer through basically goes in here and comes out there so what does that mean it means if you're using this as a hub you can keep your power supply plugged in there and basically power the whole computer but 52 watts is enough for like a macbook air or i think even like the smaller macbook pro but for the bigger macbook pros i think the 15 and a half inches the new one um it's not enough. So in other words, you, you actually can run the computer and you can charge it. But if you are like running at full speed and the, and the uh, fan is maxed out and the screen is turned all the way up, actually you'll be half using your battery and half charging at the same time. So your battery actually will run down even though it's plugged in because this thing can't supply more than 52 watts. And uh, I'm presuming that the uh, you know, USB-C, the Type-C system is smart enough to know that basically this is going to be limited so it will stop it there and, and basically the computer will have to use its battery. So anyway, that's kind of a warning, but let's take a look at this thing anyway. Unfortunately, this one does not come with the uh, HDMI. That would be, I guess, a six in one. Uh, so this is a little bit lower end, uh, but it does have kind of all the basics that you need, say, like if you are traveling and you just want to connect accessories. So yeah, here you can see basically our big size SD card, our micro SD card, our power in, and then the two the two USBs. The interesting thing here is, and you'll notice, it actually says that this is the 3.0, this is the 2.0, but unlike the photo, looks like you can see the difference in color here. In this case, they're both blue. And the standard should be that only the 3.0 is the blue on the inside, and the 2.0 should not be blue. I guess it should be black. So the question I have is probably a pretty good question: is is this are they both 3.0s because they're both blue? Uh, but here on the uh, also on the box, it actually says USB 3.0 port times two. So actually, this is what it is, but this actually disagrees with itself because it says this is a 2.0 and a 3.0. So maybe they upgraded it, maybe they changed it, they just forgot to go back and change this. And actually you can kind of see in the picture here, this one looks like it might be blue on there and there's this one's totally black, like they blacked it out. Um, so something's going on there. Anyway, so just keep that in mind. This is probably fine for most cases. Okay, now here it actually says USB 3.0 and USB 2.0, despite what it says here. And, and the question is, I guess you could say that maybe this is a 3.0 type C, and this is a 3.0 type A, and this is a 2.0 type A, but it shows two It shows two type A's while showing USB 3.0 port. So that is very confusing. So quality-wise, it seems pretty good on the surface. Like the quality of the metal is decent. It's lightweight, but it's not flimsy. Um, it probably is going to be hard to like bend or break. Um, it's got a, I guess that lights up when you're running power through it. But uh, the problem is this thing. So if you're going to use this on a, let's say a MacBook Air, which only has two USB-C uh, plugs on one side, 
this is going to cover up both of them. So you're only using one, which means all the data, all the whatever is going to go through one port, you know, even though you're going to have at least two, perhaps three things, plus the card reader, uh, basically shoving data only through one port. So that might be the bottleneck. And on top of that, you're covering up your other plug, which means that you have to use this one if you want to charge while you're using the hub, because there's only going to be two. So if you had a MacBook Pro, uh, you could plug this on one side and plug in the power on the other side. That's not a problem. But if you're using a MacBook Air, this guy is basically going to dominate and monopolize all of your ports, except for obviously a head headphones port. So anyway, keep that in mind too. Um, is it worth it? Would you rather get like a fancier one like this guy that's going to cost you another $15 but has literally everything, including the kitchen sink, including uh, Ethernet? This is Check out this video separately. Um, yeah, think about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not, if, if it does what it promises to do and you know the limitations you're getting, it should be fine, hopefully. Uh, if there's any problems, we'll do a follow-up. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye. Everyone, welcome back to Hotex. Today we have an iPhone 12 Pro, hot off the presses. I just picked it up at the Apple Store. It is the morning of the release, the 23rd of October.